did purchase this for Christmas and I did play it earlier today on Twitch. These are my first impressions of Silasipu. If you know what the real name for this game is or what you call it, definitely let me know in the comment section below. This is probably one of the most difficult platformers I've played since Crash Bandicoot. I mean heck, the game is basically in the similar vein takes inspiration from the Crash Bandicoot games. If you look at the map, you can definitely see takes a lot of inspiration from Crash Bandicoot 1. And I gotta say, it's definitely for me harder compared to Crash Bandicoot. But that's not a bad thing, because for me, I do like a difficult challenge. Now here's the thing is a cool thing I like about this game does a lot better to me than Crash 4 did. Because for me, I found Crash 4, I did like the bit of the challenge when it came to collecting gems, because you get finally feel like something worked again besides the ending which for me was okay but you see you have to unlock skins not by finding all the collectibles but doing specific tasks and pretty it's pretty neat i definitely like the concept a bit more and you even see right here this is a skin that's based on another indie game that's in development called Zero Miss Awakening, which is more than a similar vein of Spider the Dragon, which I can't wait to play when that game finally comes out. As you see a little tumor, and of course here we are, an um, inspirational skin from Cash Banuka himself. Actually look like more Coco or Tana. And this was pretty neat to see a Tomb Raider like Lara Croft based skin. Again, another tribute to the PlayStation 1 era, which I do definitely like. So, how is the game exactly when it comes to its gameplay? As you can see, once you finish the level, you do regular play, or you can do time trials. Why would you do time trials in this? But who knows? Different strokes for different folks. I guess. Say when it comes to like, the music so far, I say it's a pretty alright soundtrack. It definitely has its beats to it. And these little collectibles you're currently collecting, they can change the pet they change depending on the level. Most of the time you will see something majority, you'll see those fours as we get over there. Very different from Crash is definitely the checkpoint system, which is you don't have to break a crate. You just have to walk across a little patch of dirt, which will grow mushrooms. As you well notice a little thing with this game. There are no lives. Now this is very different. I mean, for me, when it comes to the regular mode, that is fine. There is an alternative thing called arcade mode, which lets you play with lives. And then basically it'll be game over. I don't know if this was just me, but I got this part. It really gave me some Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze vibes. Because in the second area of the game, it has a very similar style to this type of platform. Way to go across leaves, but the only difference is these don't uh, break. The ones in tropical leaves do. As well as something a little bit different, which again go from the Crash Bandicoot one, but also kind of remind me of Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. At least like Donkey Kong when it comes to like the retro games, like you have your alternate path where you could take the um, barrel or the exit route. But you can also go for a little secret, which just leads you to a puzzle piece. Ooh, there we go. A little bit right there. But yeah, so far I'd definitely say it's a pretty solid game. This is only going to be like my little first impressions where I definitely see potential for this game. It's definitely a very cool idea, a little for, idea for Crash Bandicoot. If you thought Crash 4 was hard, oh. Um, boy um yeah no this this is definitely harder for me compared to crash 4 i'm of course one of those rare people that don't find crash 4 that hard at all just in like some cases but 
for me, this is definitely much better compared to Crash 4. And of course, I say that because of the, the, the boss fights, how they work out. That, of course, is something I will say once I get into finish the full game. Of course. Okay, here we go. Trying to avoid the acorns as best as I can. Another thing I kind of want to see with those, at least in this world, it kind of reminds me of those collectibles we get in that PS1 Monsters Inc. game that I've only played the demo for, but I always wanted to try it, so it's something I could look around for. But yeah, here it is. The thing you get at the end, at least for this level, with some secrets, you get that collectible. Yeah, it was totally worth going for all that. I only missed one because, oh, there you go. Another thing with the game is, well, it keeps the tradition of, like, when it comes to Crash Bandicoot, is it's the death animations, which I feel like they're, there's probably more. I just have to get through more of the game. Because it still has your traditional stuff, like the dab with the coffin. Then you also have, like, the squished one. You also have uh, getting roasted. I think it turns into a roasted mushroom. I was thinking of, like, a roast ham, but then it's like, oh, character plays the mushroom, <laughs> which makes more sense. And as well, from what I gather, um, when it comes to the game, I f the main enemy is more likely boars. Because that would make sense since... Uh, pigs sniff out truffles, so if that's what why you're seeing a bunch of boars, which more likely act like the lab assistants from the Crash Bandicoot games, which again makes sense when it comes to stuff like this. It's always getting annoying. It's always another thing I always don't like about when it comes to Crash Bandicoot games. It's a backtracking at the dude because you really. You have, like, that bad camera angle. You can't see stuff in front of you. <laughs> no, no, damn it! Mm -hmm. Granted, I will take this over the boss I fought earlier today. It took over, like, 172 deaths. Although some of those deaths were more on me for being... not paying attention to what was happening. Unfortunately. Do, do, do. Go. And there you go. Gets the end of the level. But I will say, if you're definitely a fan of Crash Bandicoot, or looking for something in the van Crash Bandicoot, this is definitely something worth looking into. But anyways, I'll, I'll catch you on the next video.